another oh, dreary Monday here in Florida. We're uh, getting the remnants of a uh, little storm. Like I've said many times, this time of year, it's all about the water down here. It comes from any and every direction you can imagine, from the East Coast, from the West Coast, anywhere that a storm could possibly blow in from, we catch it here where I'm at in Tampa. Anyway, thought I'd share with you guys how my weekend went. Had a good shoot down in Daytona. Uh, got some awesome long exposure shots of the pier. Uh, some really good time lapses as you've seen in the beginning. Some fun stuff. Had a really good time. Um, got up redunculously early. Left here at 4.15 in the morning. Went 10-15 minutes out of my way by mistake. Thought I knew better than the GPS. That shortcut never is short. Turned back around and flew into town and got a great parking spot. Anyway, but that being the case, it was a really great time. Um, long ride, great time. But I faced that new problem again, like I've mentioned in the past. The whole issue with what is next? What will I shoot next? was watching the uh, little TV premiere of Walking Dead the other day and that location is actually not that far from me. I mean it's not around the corner but it's a couple maybe six hours compared to the three hours each way I just did. So keeping that in mind because it is kind of an odd old town looking setup no matter what so it's a pretty cool location. Anyway what I want to discuss today real quick before I do my regular thing, not sure if I'll be walking, bike riding, or running away from the rain, but I did have something I wanted to go over with you guys. Just take a minute to uh, talk about it. It's something that I noticed when I was over in Daytona Beach. The homeless. See, <clears throat> when I was at Daytona Beach the other day, as you can see, I found quite the large camp of homeless people living right underneath the giant Daytona Beach sign, which I thought was really unusual and disturbing. And when I got there, it was just around sunrise, and they were dispersing because my guess is around oh, 8 a.m. or so the police must come by and start chasing them all off so the tourists don't see them but they were literally camping there and there were dozens of them what you saw in those pictures before were the few that were lingering and probably live there all day and don't really care about the police but you know this is a problem I've noticed quite a few times getting worse and worse over the past two or three years it's always been bad homeless is never good Seeing one or two is way too many, but, you know, it's always been what you would call within reason. But what I'm seeing now, what I've seen in the past three years, is unlike anything I've seen before. You know, we're quickly slipping into third world country type status. You know, I was out in California two years ago, and you couldn't turn a corner without bumping into a homeless person. And this was San Diego, California really expensive part of the strip and a private beach and you you just you know the minute you hit the streets they were there early morning late night that's how they do it they try to shuffle them off during the day uh, a year before that we we're in Vegas had heard about the homeless issue in Vegas so you know wasn't that surprised but actually was stunned more than surprised the amount of homeless people was endless there was more homeless people than tourists you had to step over homeless people to get into casinos. And it was so bad that even the casinos couldn't control it. They had homeless people everywhere. They would just like take brooms and push them out of the way so you can get in, but they couldn't make them go away. And, you know, I have a buddy of mine in Hawaii. He said, tourism is down by like 75%. Go ahead, check it out yourself. Go online. You can get a luxury room for $200 a night. You can get an airline ticket round trip for five or 600 bucks. It is insane because they've been shipping homeless people to Hawaii because, you know, there's no way for them to get 
back. So once states get them out there, that becomes the state of Hawaii's problem. It is so bad that I saw some footage the other day on YouTube, and I, I swear I thought they were in, not to you know, badmouth any other country, but it really looked like a, a backwards-ass third-world country with no uh, electricity or sewage system or sanitation, but it wasn't. It was Hawaii. It was, it, was, it was beyond what you would believe. It was campers covered in tarpaulins with streets of roped off tarpaulins together, closed off by the homeless uh, packs. You know, it's time that we start putting an end to that. We really got to start, you know, I know it's hard for anybody to help on their own. It's time to start writing them letters, people. It's time to, to make your congressmen and senators work and make their money. Make them turn this country around. We can't have this like this anymore. We have to fix this. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox now and get back to much more happier thoughts. Oh my, look how dark, how quick. I was just outside half an hour ago. Hello, everyone. Hold on a second now. Yep, we're out here trying to get our walk in. It's dark. Looks like it's going to be headlights from now on. Mm -hmm. It's getting super dark, super fast. I guess I really need to upgrade my camera, too, to something that shoots in ridiculously low light because I'm going to walk around out here with no strobe light on this thing like a, a movie star. Just it's shoot myself. Right. And everything turns orange when you have these street lights. I love it. We are orange. Oh, here's the, th here's, here's the thing. I get it. No one wants to do the extra work. But if you have a business, and people are dumping liquor bottles and trash behind your store every day. You know, you gotta clean it up. It sucks, it's not your responsibility, but it gotta be picked up, man. And it's called the price of doing business. All the other stores in the plaza, they're they just suck. benefiting. They're benefiting from you doing the work. But then again, you know, you're a multi-billion dollar company. Yes, so pay somebody to pick to up the it. dirty damn bottles. I think it's Simple. Ridiculous. See, that's the attitude. <laughs> ah, it's not my responsibility. Screw it. Uh, you know, my store, I got to clean. Just take turns? Right. Well, you know, negotiate that with them, but got to start somewhere. Uh -huh. Be the example. Did you notice it almost looks like we're wearing the same color? Yeah, it's, it's all Halloween ish. I need circles. That fluorescent lighting is brutal. Do I look blue? Bluish? Anyway, my friends, what an interesting night tonight was, huh? Started out a little preachy, got into a little bit of the uh, exercise mode, had a wonderful instant thought. That was a creative moment. And we probably learned a little something about ourselves and the environment in which I live in currently. Anyway, it's a Monday night, beginning of the week. Probably going to go run and catch up on the one or two TV shows that I tend to watch uh, that are on Sundays. Don't watch much TV, but uh, do a lot of creating, which is way better anyway. Tomorrow, just another day at the office, I hope. And not quite sure. Going to probably be up late tonight. Uh, like I said, I had some inspiration on the road. And when that happens, I usually like to stay up as late as possible and work it to the last minute. You know, never know when that inspiration is going to strike again, so got to make it worth your while and take it full advantage. It's funny, I used to love, and don't get me wrong, I still love sleeping and taking naps and things like that. But what I find super interesting is, like, I don't sleep as much as I used to. That's the kind of thing my wife's been pointing out. She's like, when do you sleep? When do you find time to sleep? You're, you're awake when I go to bed. You're awake when I get up to go to work. And I told her, you know what? When you break it down, you're going to spend almost half your life asleep, not getting anything accomplished, and you're never getting those hours back again. So this is it. This is my 50% of my time, this half of my life where I get to do what I want. So I, I stay up late. It's funny, though, right? Not for the same purposes. I used to stay up late and drink and party till 3 a.m., come to bed, get an hour's sleep, and then get up and go and work on my eight-hour shift and, you know, wash, rinse, repeat, baby. That's what life used to be like. Now, it's funny because I do the same thing, except it's like I'm writing, I'm drawing, I'm just sitting there thinking, listening to things, and it's just as equally fun. I mean, you know, it's funny how different times of your life, different things 
are more interesting than others, right? Because when I was 21, if you told me, sit up and draw and think, I'd be like, man, you're out your mind. But now, I kill for that kind of time. Just to have an hour, a hour, where I could just do nothing but think. Sit in my desk chair, pull out the pencil, get some ideas out of the head, do a little drawing, write a bit of the book, finish some letters that I'm doing, proposal letters for the trip to get sponsors. I mean, just work on the channel and get more subscribers. It's so much that could be done, man. That's why I sleep. Sleep is uh, sometimes a waste of time, you know. Maybe try to get by with a little less and just do a little more for yourself at that time. It's just as productive. Not as restful, but anyway, y'all know how we do it. Comment, like, subscribe. I think I'm getting it right now. I think I finally know what corner it's in. But love ya. See y'all tomorrow. Have a great evening.